Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video, you guys. Today is Friday. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's Friday, September 9th. It's currently 11.30 a.m. Um, I have this video that I've been wanting to shoot for you guys, so I'm about to shoot it for y'all. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be how I maintain crochet hair. Um, before I get into it though, to my amazing supporters, thank you guys so much for your amazing, amazing, amazing support. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys so much. I'm bringing fashion to my channel and I'm bringing beauty to my channel. I told y'all it's out of my comfort zone. It's definitely going to be a challenge for me. So I'm gonna do it. I've only done one beauty video and I think that video has like over 600 views where I reviewed like this hair or whatnot. I'm gonna link it in the description box for y'all as well. It's actually the same hair. Um, this is just a different color. So yeah, I'm gonna um, let y'all know like how I maintain my hair. Right now, um, my edges are done, but I'm about to hop in the shower, wash them out or whatever um, because I'm gonna use got to be to lay my edges the difference though hold on one second i'm gonna show you oh. so for a very long time i've always used this got to be but then i saw this one and i was like i've never tried this one and there was only like two left on the shelves there was a lot more of this one left so i was like you know what I should try this one and it did say like the difference is that this one is invisible it doesn't like flake or anything like that which i did try it i wanted to try it before i did this video so that i could be more confident with what i'm talking about so as y'all can see like i put i had laid my hair yesterday um and my edges are still intact so i definitely recommend using this one if y'all want to um but i'm gonna just cut it right here because i can't wait to get into this video show y'all how i maintain my crochet hair i've had this hair in for about a month now going on two months and like another two weeks it'll be like two months since i've had this hair in usually i could keep this hair in for like three months and still be good so for those of you that like ever want to try like crochet hair um you don't really know how to maintain it or keep it in for a long time um i'm gonna show you how to keep it in for a long time hey so. guys so i am back i'm out the shower my edges are freshly washed as y'all could see Oh my God, I can't believe I'm on camera looking like this. Y'all see the back of my hair? <laughs> it looks crazy, y'all. But anyways, um, as I told y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how I maintain my crochet here. This is going on two months of having it in. So there's a few things that you're gonna need for this video. So first thing, I have my got to be glue here. Um, you're also gonna need some scissors. Yes, you're gonna need some scissors. This. This does it, y'all, it does it. You're gonna also need an edge control brush. You're gonna need some hair clips to be more specific. I may use them, I may not, but you're also gonna need these small little rubber bands. Or even if you don't have these rubber bands, uh, a scrunchie is good enough or a hair tie. So anything like this, you could use it. You're also going to need one of these brushes, like a detangling brush. And um, another thing you're going to need is headbands, y'all. The headbands, that is going to help y'all like finesse this hair, like keeping it for a longer time. Um, so yeah, you definitely going to need headbands. You can pick whichever one. I have like a variety, so whichever one I feel like goes with my outfit the best, um, that's the one that I usually choose and you also gonna need like a little hair tie thing to tie down to lay your edges so yeah that's that um yeah so we're gonna get right into the video oh and you're gonna need a trash can a trash can or a trash bag because you're gonna need to throw out the hair so as i told y'all um let me look this up a little bit as I told y'all, I have kept this hair in for almost like a month or two. I'm gonna insert some before pictures, like when I first, first did my hair or whatever, so y'all can see how it looks when it's freshly done. But, but um, for now, 
this is what um we working with so this is my hair almost two months of having it in as i told y'all if y'all really want y'all hair to grow like i said keep your hair in for a nice period of time i gotta take this pin out because i also used it <laughs> um so yeah this is my hair i'm gonna get straight into the video so in this part of the video um i'm gonna start by showing y'all how i cut out like the tangled parts of my hair so i hope y'all can see i'm gonna try to Get a good angle for y'all so what i do i part my hair as i told y'all section by section right and this is where like i said you definitely gonna need a hair tie so well i usually don't really use a hair tie but for the purpose of the video because i think it'll make it easier um yeah so first things first i hope y'all can see these like tangled knotted it's a little bit tangled a little bit knotted so the purpose of this part is you got to cut out the tangled and the knotted part i'm standing in front of a mirror so even if i'm not looking at the camera trust me i'm looking in the mirror because i want to show you so there when i get to so i pull this hair apart that's what i do i'm gonna just show y'all like twice and then i'm gonna just either do the rest off camera or just speed up the video to show y'all how to finish doing it. So this is the first step to maintaining it. Um, not even the first step, actually, I feel like I skipped the steps. So don't be scared to wash your edges, like freshly wash them after you, you know, lay them and stuff like that, just to keep it clean. Also put, um, like, make sure you grease your scalp underneath, all of that stuff. That's another thing that I do, like, throughout the time with me keeping this hair in for a long time. So, all right, so this is a perfect example of something you're gonna cut out. I'm trying to get the camera to focus so that y'all can see. So, y'all see, like, this tangle. Oh, there. I just saw it. Okay, y'all see this tangled part? This is what y'all is gonna cut out. So you take your scissors and you just trim it out like that. So you gonna go through your hair and you just gonna find all of these knotted tangled parts in there and cut them out, literally. See, like this. Literally, you go through, you part each one, and you trim out the knotted tangle parts. I don't want this video to be super duper long because it's simple. Don't get me wrong, this part is very time consuming. This can take anywhere from like 20 to 30 minutes to do, but trust me, y'all gonna see the after. Cause right now, like I said, I look a hot mess, but we gonna clean up. So um, I showed y'all, I don't think I need to show y'all again cause it's not complicated is this part right here you find it and you trim it out so you go through your whole entire hair and you just trim out all these knotted parts without cutting your hair All right, y'all, so I'm pretty much done trimming out like the dead ends, as I told, not the dead ends, but the tangled ends. As I told y'all, so far it is looking great. So that is the first step. 
Next, I am gonna pull my hair back and then I'm gonna lay my edges. Um, that's the next thing I do. I don't need to like put anything in between my scalp because I did that a few days ago. But this whole trimming out process, like I said, it takes a good like 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the hair that you have in. Um, and yeah, you could do it like, I didn't have to do it until like my first, I mean, like three weeks after keeping this hair in, that's when it started getting like a little bit tangled and stuff. So I'm gonna pull my hair back next. I'm gonna um, lay my edges. And then when I lay my edges, I'm gonna show y'all how I layer it. All right, y'all, so I got my scarf on. I'm gonna leave that there for like a good 10 minutes so that it can dry. In the meantime, while that's happening, I am about to layer my hair and show y'all. So y'all see the transformation is coming along. Um, this gel is not as sticky, but if you want, you could go wash your hands after. I mean, yeah, after you apply it, but for now, I don't need to. So. I'm gonna show you how I layer this hair. Remember I told y'all. Remember I told y'all y'all gonna need rubber bands for this. So this is how I do it. I take one one because if y'all know crochet hair, you gotta braid your hair down first before you install it. So um, my hair is braided in ten. There's ten cornrows, so I'm gonna do like five layers or maybe four i'm not sure yet um but yeah i'm gonna just show y'all what i'm doing so these ones because it's the middle one they're gonna be cut the shortest i'm gonna leave it like that um yeah actually that's what i'm doing i'm only going to do three layers if that makes sense and you want it even on both sides. So, yeah. You just want to pull an even amount of hair to each side. So that's, this gonna be the first layer, which is usually the longest layer. This one's gonna be the second layer, which is gonna be short. So basically the higher, cut it the um i mean the higher up the hair is coming from the shorter you cut it if that makes sense and then now we got the middle portion so do it and i only do this part once actually um sometimes you could do it twice but it depends on how short you want the hair but the main purpose is to cut off like all the dead ends of the hair because everybody know like when you do a fresh blunt cut um or fresh trim your hair looks better compared to when you just leave it and the ends are like straggling uneven and dead so, yeah um so as i told y'all the first layer is the longest layer, so I start by trimming that first. So I hope y'all can see. So I'm gonna trim it. Last time I went on like a scissors trip and I cut it way too short and then I was sad, but um, this time I know my limit with the scissors, so I'm gonna show y'all. See, now that I cut it, the ends are like nice and fresh and it makes the hair look newer. So that's the first layer. Now it's time to cut the second layer. So your mission with the second layer is to just cut it a little bit shorter than, um, is to cut it a little bit shorter than the first layer. So, good trim like that.
there. So you got your first layer right here, longer, second layer a little bit shorter, and then now with the top layer, that one usually is gonna be the shortest one. So you can start by cutting little by little, getting it even. Sorry, y'all. And then, same thing again. I don't think it needs to be cut anymore. You just wanna make sure that it's nice and even, even. So that's what I'm doing. As I told y'all, I think it's nice and even. So y'all see, it looks nice and fresh. So now I'm gonna take it out and then show y'all the full thing. It looks amazing, y'all. So, um, yeah, and then that's another thing. The longer you keep the hair in, sometimes your braids can go like apart or whatever, so it doesn't look as like united. So one thing that I did, as I showed y'all, I took the bobby pin out, but I got this little bobby pin here, and I just, yeah, so that's how I did that. Um, yeah, that's how I did it. And I think my edges are pretty dry. Um, it's been 10 minutes, I would say, because um, the layering, it took 10 minutes. So I think I could take it off and I'm gonna stick my headband on. And that's gonna conclude this video. I'm gonna just try to give like a short talk of like extra tips or whatever, but we're summarizing the video. So, y'all, laid, okay, mama? Yeah, don't play with her. <laughs> there y'all go oh my god i can't believe i let y'all see me on camera like that look it so that's how i maintain my hair y'all i'm gonna put my headband on because today i'm wearing like silver jewelry i feel like this goes with it best um because i have a black and gold headband i have a gray headband so this one's gonna go best with what i want so i'm gonna show y'all pop the headband over it doesn't look bad without the headband but it just gives me comfort um i don't know i feel more confident with the headband to kind of cover the fact that my braids are like my hair is like pushed back a little bit so that's how you finesse it y'all with the headband because people can't see that you know your hair has like grown out and stuff so <laughs> But yeah, that's my hair. So I'm gonna go to the next clip. All right, y'all, so that sums up this video. Just a quick recap on um, how I maintain my hair um, and crochet for like a good two to three months. Like I told y'all, um, I just keep these headbands on deck so that I could use them to cover once my hair grown out. When I first started, when I first did the crochet, I didn't really need to wear it because of course everything was like from up here from the roots just left my edges out and then as it starts to grow out I just start using the headband to you know kind of you get it like to give it a nice look so lay your edges trim out those dead ends that way it's not like all tangled and stuff like that and it gives it like a natural look it's a little bit shorter because this is like 18 inches I think yeah, I believe it's 18 inches on this hair. So, you know, you could trim it after like going on two months, like I said, um, trim like the dead end so that it could give it like a nice fresh look. And yeah, that's how you do it. And that sums up this video. Oh, I love it. I love this hair. It has been my go-to hair for the past like few years so I give this hair a 10 out of 10 this is my favorite color I've done it in burgundy I've done it in black I've done it in 1b I've done it in four but this has always been my absolute favorite so thank you guys for watching this video I hope y'all enjoy it as I told y'all I'm definitely going to be dropping more like beauty videos because that's what y'all want to see um so yeah it's out of my comfort zone because I don't like looking 
a certain way on camera I just don't like I like looking dolled up and everything but you know for YouTube for y'all I'll do it so I appreciate every single one of you guys thank you for watching this video make sure y'all stay tuned for more beauty videos more fashion videos I'm not gonna let go of the motivation piece I just got to figure out how to incorporate everything but I appreciate every single one of y'all um, and thank you guys for tuning in. Comment below uh, any other videos y'all want to see concerning like beauty, concerning hair. I don't mind doing it for y'all. So thank y'all for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye.